my it's my engineer collage. It's his studio. Mm-hmm. Um, I recorded. Uh, I'd rather talk to strangers there, and then every pretty much every song that came out afterwards, I recorded there. Too, you know, I, mean? I got I got a little home studio spot that we, we bought out a, a little garage and mm-hmm. you know put up some walls and really turned it into something. But it's just yeah, I like home studios, man. I like the vibe. I, I don't you like home know, studios I over real ones or not real ones? Not necessarily, not necessarily. But I, I think it's a different vibe. Like you know, sometimes like we have a studio out in um out in Clifton, New Jersey as well. Mm-hmm. It's it's amazing. It's fucking amazing. And my boy Richie is is really talented. And I like recording there because he'll make you sound amazing too. So it's really, I think for me, it's more about the people I'm with. You yeah. Know what I'm saying like I would rather record in an amazing, in, in, a, in a decent home studio with somebody I love working with, than you know a, a, a million dollar studio with someone that I'm just kind of like, eh. you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm all about like if, if the sound is the sound is a lot, but I'm also about like the vibes in the studio sessions. Mm-hmm. You know. I feel like the chemistry in the studio needs to be up to the up to par. It needs to be there. Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, I, I don't, when I work in, a, I don't, when I work in a studio with with an artist, like, I, if I say if I say come through at ten or like, I might I might even hit you up, man. Yo, come through at nine just so we can chill and we can kick it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, just see if you get you got to get a good vibe in there, man. A lot of times, like you know, but like I said, social media now you kind of you can kind of learn somebody. You can kind of see if it would be cool to be, you know what I mean? You can yeah. Kind of feel you feel, yeah, exactly. Feel them out. But there's an artist, there's a couple artists that are just like, you know, they're fun to work with, but like, we're just, we just make different music, but it's still fun to work with. You know? mm-hmm. Are there any artists out of CT that you'd like to work with? Um, yeah, actually, you know, I, oh, it's in, it's in my phone. Actually, I had, I had knew you, I had knew you were going to make, ask me this question. Mm-hmm. So like, I had made a list because I'm always so like on the spot. I'm bad. Yeah. Um, Take your time. Start shouting out names for me. Oh, you got the list? Oh, it's yeah. Not, it's not online no more? It's not for sure. Glad you made a list. That's awesome. Yeah, nah. Um, oh yeah. So it's like for for. I mean, I always say this when people ask me about artists. I always mention Sax Sax Fifth. He's from Hartford. Okay. Very very dope artist. I always mention Sax. I always like I said. I don't, I don't co-sign people unless I really fuck with them. Mm-hmm. I'm Sax. Um, Mike Flows would be dope. Obviously, I'd love to work with Annoyed. Like he's just yeah. he's an undeniable talent. Um, he's on a whole nother level. The singers I put like Brandon Serafino, um, okay. Dave Phoenix. Dave is so nice. Um, I mean, there's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of people around here. Um, I mean, Mike would be cool. Uh, uh, Say Kiro. He's disgusting, man. Um, Misfit Muda. Um, His new song "Cameras" is amazing. Yeah, that dude's wild, bro. That dude makes me laugh, yo. Like that's that's like I said, that's a, that's. He's somebody that I would like to get in the studio with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like I would just laugh my ass off the whole time. Um, I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot of people like engineers. I want to work with Ian more. Mm-hmm. Um, shoot a video with Rook. Rook, yeah, he's been killing it. I just love it, man. There's like so the fact that I'm able to name all these people, and I'm sure and then there's, there's so many more, more people out there. there. Yeah. Way more. Um, Shout out to T, man. Two twelve and with T. Shout out to T. Yeah. Cause she um she does podcasts as well. Another person that's you know what I mean trying to make things work out here. It's just cool, man. I, um, I seen you had Dutch on here the other day. Oh, Dutch, she's nice, I man. I work with Dutch. Um, oh, there's a lot of artists. Um, Tyler Farms. Tyler Farms, a legend, a young legend. That's what's cool, man. He's young. 
There's a dude out of Torrington. His name is J Bar. And he's and he's. I heard him. Yeah, you should you should hit him up. Get him on here. He's he's nice. He's good. He's a little singer, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's got he's got a, a cool little feel to him. Dope. There was this one song on his tape. I forgot. What it was, man, I remember. I remember when I first heard it. I was like, oh shit, this is fun. But no, it's cool, man. He's he's from he's from the same city I'm from, so it's cool to see that. You know what I mean? It's cool to see younger cats. He's only, he's only a couple years younger than me. I think he's like four, three or four years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So he's not too he's not too young, but he's definitely doing, he's he's doing his thing, man. He he gets a lot of that's why he, he's another guy who gets a lot of torrent love too. You know what I'm saying? It's real. That's my biggest thing. Is like I want to tell people as far as like you know, everybody says like leave. You know, I kind of want to take that stigma away of like you have to leave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you just treat the people right. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not saying any of these artists aren't treating their artists, their, their fans right, but I'm just saying like, you know, I've taken a long time to kind of, you know, work my way in with my fans, and I'm starting to see it now. Like, although they may be from my city, and, and people from New Haven or mm -hmm. you know Hartford might not know me as well. When if I can drop a song and get you know, the people from my city to fuck with it, when I go and I bring it out to another spot, it'll have the views on it. It'll have the the, the you know the exactly. It'll have the credibility. It. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. It's, it's cool and like even with shows man like if I was an artist from out you know any other spot from Torrington and I would be like yo y'all got a little y'all really got a, a spot to, to perform out here like I would love to take one of these artists from New Haven and bring them in front of my but yo I can guarantee we get 200 people in there man yeah so, guaranteed like I got you that's sick come on come do it check out we really got a fan base out here maybe you'll want to come out here again you know what I'm exactly. saying maybe you'll want to start you know throwing your music out this way it's like this. It's the same thing. Like even when I was on working with T, she was like, "Yo, what's it gonna take to get it to um, to get you out in Hartford?" I was like, "Just ask me." You yeah. Know what I'm saying I don't necessarily have like the 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 connects like these other artists do. There's a lot of artists in Hartford or like New Haven. So like, many, man. You know, the bigger the city, the bigger the the bigger the artist. Like the the more opportunity there are for artists. There's so many artists out in New Haven and Hartford that I've been finding every single day, even with the breakthrough and having the platform that I have. It's like. Do people hit you up now? Yeah. So it's 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 cool enough. Like I I'm trying to get it to because what we want to do is we want to promote everybody's music, even if it's someone that's like learning and mm -hmm. like like starting. It's like I want that's probably more, that's probably more important, man. Bro, the fact like I started this list today actually. It's um it's I'm gonna start doing a weekly list. So send me all your like you guys already do, but send me any new song and I'm gonna try putting it on the new and hot just CT thread of like each new week's stuff, new yeah. new stuff and yeah. the fact that like I sent hey your song was on the new and hot CT blitz like I just created it but all these guys were like yo thank you and I was like yeah man it feels good when people do that exactly. it, feels like, it feels like you're worth it bro like this is like we take a lot of time and a lot of effort and like as, as funny as it is like as artists when you go around like you gotta have the ego you gotta have like the you know you gotta have the confidence in your song but like as an artist like I'm probably one of the most insecure people in the world bro 